Hello class. Today I'm doing the same project as you, which is the, you know, the five events in the 1920s. All right. Now, my first event is about the 19th Amendment. And what that is, is pretty much saying that women have the right to vote. Because nowadays, you know, anyone can vote. Well, it wasn't like that back then. Back then, only men can vote. And sometimes black men couldn't vote. But now they passed a law that women can vote. And so like, you know, like, you know, we have presidents and all the presidents, you know, they need votes to win. That's what we do. We go and vote. Well, we're too young, but anyone over 18 can vote or 18 can vote. So they're saying that back then when they have a president or like someone running for government or governor that they need votes. And and uh, the women were allowed to vote because in 19, the 19th Amendment was, um, you know, it was passed. Then, that's my first one, you know, but I need an ad, so here's my ad. This ad, or this event, was sponsored by Wonder Bread. If you need your bread, soft to be eaten eat our wonder bread yeah now my second event is about adolf hitler now some of you guys know about him some of you guys don't and for those who don't which you're in 10th grade i think you guys should know um he he, he was not a good guy not at all now what's crazy about him is he was actually he went to school for art or he was, he was actually like doing some art thing, you know. And somehow from being from being someone that like does art, transfers to being the number one like leader. Which I don't know how that you know how that works. But um but I guess we can both we can all find out together. Now, Adolf Hitler was um discharged from the army in nineteen twenty and turned his attention to politics. Which, nowadays, we have politics like Democrats and Republicans and all that, yada, yada, yada. But what Adolf did was he got discharged from the army because he wasn't a good guy. Now, when he got discharged, discharged from the army in 1920, like I said, he became the politics. He, he joined the politics. And he was the leader of a party. In the late in late July of 1921. Now, inflation started to hit Germany, and which means that Germany had some debt to owe. And what they had to owe was, you know, money, because we know when, like, when you have some money that you need to pay up, you're in debt now. So if you buy a car, right, and then you don't buy it fully, you put some money down, right? You can leave the lot, but you still have to pay. It's pretty much like, it's, it's like taxes, kind of. Now, Adolf Hitler was the leader in the army. And he was not a good leader because, like, she did stuff that was not okay or shouldn't have done. Now, he killed a lot of Jewish people back then, which, which was pretty much like the Holocaust, kind of. And what Hitler did was very bad things to Jewish people because of the police or something like that. So when he got discharged from the army, it was, he went to politics and all this stuff and Germany got, you know, went into loans. Now, that's enough of that because I'm kind of getting confused. But that that was sponsored by, uh, you know, tomato soup. If you're cold and sick, eat the tomato soup. It would heal you up. Now, my third event is about the 1926 massive, massive hurricane that hit Miami. Now, this hurricane was huge. It took out a lot of Miami, destroyed homes, like the water got everywhere in the city, flooded, everything it was bad. It took over the beaches. Now, when that hurricane hit, some people died and some people survived. Now, it was, I think it was just as bad as the one that just hit now of Hurricane Ian. And when this did, when this hit, everyone's houses got destroyed, 
trees blowing down and everything, just like a hurricane would do. But there's a benefit to this, okay? This benefit was that since the hurricane took out a lot of stuff, they had to build like everything, everything back up. And when they did that, they built a lot of homes and all this stuff, which made Miami back then the number one city to live in because there's so much people going there and more houses being built and all that. And that was sponsored by Peach Nut. Eat your peach nuts, kids. Then, <laughs> my uh, fourth event is on, um, uh, wait, no, wait, that's my fifth event. Yeah. Um, my fifth? No, that's my fourth, my bad. So, the fourth event is about these two French guys that, um, play tennis. And it, when they played, it was the first national tennis <laughs> match. And it's called the U.S. Open. That's the title. And um, they went back and forth. And it was like the big sports event, sports <laughs> event back then. Because the Packers and stuff in the Super Bowl didn't hit to about the 1950s. So this was a huge, like a huge um, sports, you know, like entertainment. And that was on September 18th in 1926. Now, again, the Packers and the Super Bowl and stuff like that didn't come to about 1950s. Now, my last event was called the Great Depression. It began after the stock market crash on October, on, of October 1929, which sent Wall Street, which is like a street in like this city, um, into a panic and wiped out millions of investors. Now, today we have like, invest in like bitcoin and just like stocks and all that and when that all crashed people lost millions of dollars because they put they invested a lot of money into those um like stocks so like now we have apple and all that so you're like if you put all your money into apple right for stocks and all that crashed all your money is gone and that pretty much happened with the great depression but not with apple because obviously there wasn't a thing back then so when that happened, everyone was depressed and all that because they lost a lot of money. They didn't have money to pay and anything like that. And that's all I have for you guys today. Thank you. I'm out.